We're on the Edister River to monitor populations of sturgeon, and we're focusing on the estimates of recently spawned fish and their abundance. Sturgeon are distributed throughout all major coastal rivers along the Atlantic, and populations are being monitored by state natural resource agencies like SCDNR. They are diadromous fish, which means they spend their life in both fresh and salt water. The diadromous team members are using a 150-yard gill net. The fish collected are placed in a live well until they can be checked for pit tags and measured for length and weight. Passive integrated transponder tags, or pit tags, are about the size of a grain of rice and act like a microchip that a vet would use. They are inserted below the dorsal fin, and each tag has its own unique code that researchers collect when using a handheld scanner over the tag. Got 982 To handle these endangered animals, the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources is required to apply for a research permit issued by the National Marine Fisheries Service. Atlantic sturgeon were placed on the endangered species list in April 2012 due to overfishing, demand for caviar, and human impacts. We use this information to identify the fish and estimate the frequency of recapture. These sturgeon are about two to three years old. They generally stay in the river systems until three to four years of age. They can leave earlier, which is why studying the recently spawned fish is important information to collect. By tagging fish throughout the state, we can estimate how many fish there are and how fish move from different systems over time. Two, seven, six, two.